Hey, good morning again, options traders. Well, it's time for some more options training. And I got an email from one of our traders asking, why are the time spread risk graphs curved? And he had sent some screenshots from Thinkorswim and said that on a lot of the books and websites, it would show a calendar spread, let's say, that looks like a certain shape. But on his platform, it didn't look that way. So what's going on? Why are the time spread risk graphs curved? And what's different about them from what we might call regular risk graphs? Well, let's go find out. As always, before we do, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated and helps to promote the channel. So let's start off with a time spread. Time spread is also known as a calendar spread. And what you're going to do with this strategy is you will buy different expirations, but the same strike. If you buy the longer dated option, it's a long time spread. It will be a debit. So for instance, let's say that you buy a 60-day $100 call and you sell a 30-day $100 call. This is a calendar spread and it would be a long one. We know that longer dated options, assuming the same strike, have to be worth more money. So since you're buying the longer dated option, this must be a debit spread. So it's a long spread. And again, we would just say that this is the 100 time spread or the 100 calendar spread. And if you were to put this in your broker's platform or were reading it in a book, you're probably going to see a risk graph that looks something like this. And notice how we have these curved lines. They're not straight like we normally see in most of the risk graphs. Now, one thing we do see is we get the bend that I talk about in virtually every risk graph, and that will always line up at a strike. If you have two different strikes, you will get two different bends. They always occur at a strike. So we're definitely seeing the bend. We know that we're dealing with a 100 strike. But why are these lines over here curved? See, we don't get that if we look at, let's say, a long call. This is our expiration graph. There's our bend. In this case, we can tell it's a 100 strike. But again, it's the presence of these straight lines that we are usually used to seeing. And we can tell that at expiration, if the stock is 100 or below, you will have zero deltas. We get a flat line that's saying it's an out-of-the-money option. But if the stock is above the strike, in this example 100, then we are delta 1. We're on this 45-degree line. And notice that there are no other choices. Now, depending on the strategy, let's say with a vertical spread, we get a similar picture. We get areas of zero deltas or we can get areas of delta one, and up here we get again zero deltas. Those are the only choices we get. When I say the only choices, I mean it's either zero or it's this 45 degree line. Of course, this line could slope upward to the right, like it is here, in which case it's positive deltas, but it could also go from the lower right side of the graph towards the upper left, in which case we would have negative deltas. So for instance, a bear spread. Same strategy, just in the opposite direction. So notice again, we get two choices. We either have zero deltas. Here we've got negative deltas, still a 45 degree line, just leaning up this way to the left, or we get zero deltas. But everything is a straight line. And of course, we see our bends right there at 100, 105. This is very common for most strategies. However, when you look at a time spread, we don't see that. Again, we get positive deltas on this side, but it's curved. And we get negative deltas on this side, but it's curved. It's not a straight line. And that's really the question is, why, if this is an expiration graph, are we not getting straight lines? Well, the answer is very easy. It's because you have different expirations. And the one thing you want to take from this is that anytime you see a risk graph that is claiming to be an expiration risk graph, but you've got curved lines like this, you can tell that you're dealing with different expiration dates. And if that's true, the risk graph is drawn at the expiration of the short strike, or whichever one is going to expire first, whichever is the shortest dated option. They're assuming that that one is going to be at expiration, and that's what you're looking at. And so the fact that your remaining option, in this case a long option, has time value or extrinsic value, that's why these lines are curved. 
It's only at expiration where the lines become straight. But see, the problem here is we have two expiration dates. So we can't really say we're at expiration for the entire strategy. Instead, we can just say we're at expiration of the, in this case, the short dated option. So why is this important? Why is it important for new traders to be able to identify what's being called an expiration curve, and yet you can see that it has curved lines to it, that they aren't straight? And that's telling you that you've got different expiration dates and you need to be really careful about how this strategy could play out. So for example, let's go to our time spread. And in this example, let's say that you bought the 60-day call and you sold a 30-day call. Well, what this is assuming is that at expiration of the 30-day call, that's what's creating the shape. So yes, it's true that the 30-day call is either zero or delta one or delta negative one, but not for the long call. So let's look at some scenarios. Let's say that this short-term call expires out of the money. So it just goes out of your account. So you're thinking that you've got this kind of a risk graph, but look what you're holding. It was a 60-day call, now it's a 30-day call. So your risk graph doesn't look like this anymore. It has switched from this to this. And you need to be aware of that, that this is going to change on you if you don't do anything. Let's go back to the original time spread. You bought the 60-day call, you sold the 30-day call, and now let's say that this 30-day call goes in the money and you don't do anything, what's going to happen? You're going to get assigned. And if you don't have the stock, you are going to sell stock anyway. Remember, an exercise is always for the shares. A lot of times people think, oh, they're going to take my call. No, they won't. They will always exercise for the shares. So if you don't have the shares, you have to deliver them anyway, and that's going to leave you with a short stock position. Now what do you have? Well, now you've got 100 shares short. Your 60-day call is now a 30-day call. Your long a call, short stock, which is synthetically the same as a long put. So look at how it switched. It doesn't look the same. So one thing that you have to train your eyes to do whenever you're looking at a risk graph, whether it's in a book, website, broker's platform, if you see straight lines like this, this means that all of the options in the strategy are expiring on the same date. And this risk graph is assuming seconds before the expiration bell. So in the case of a vertical spread, you're long an option, short an option, but they have the same expiration date. And how do we know that? Well, we can look at the risk graph and tell because we have straight lines. What about a long call? Again, straight lines. We can tell that this is shot at the expiration of a specific moment in time, not multiple expirations. Of course, it would have to be here because it's only one option, but we can also tell that just by looking at the shape of the risk graph. But now let's look at the time spread. See, now we've got these curved lines, even though it's going to say this is an expiration graph. And again, you need to realize you've got multiple expirations here. That's what's causing the curvature. What if you look at something like a double calendar or a double diagonal? Now you're going to get something like this. And you can tell by looking at this, we are dealing with different expiration dates. Why? Because we don't have straight lines. We have curved lines. And this image right here, this risk graph, is shot assuming that the shortest dated option is at expiration. And again, because the remaining options still have time value or extrinsic value, they're not going to be straight like up here. Remember at expiration, all extrinsic value is gone, but that's assuming all of the options expire at the same time. See down here, this is not true for the double diagonal or for the time spread. Yes, your short option might be expired and be either delta zero or delta one, but your long option isn't it still has time value, and that's what's causing these curves. So one of the questions that this trader was asking is he sent a screenshot saying for a double diagonal and said, normally it has kind of these two little peaks here. We have two different strikes, 
And he said, but when I put it in my platform, it doesn't look anything like this. Am I doing something wrong? Well, it's just not understanding the risk graphs. So let's go over to an Excel spreadsheet and take a look at why he was seeing a different picture from this. So now this is an Excel spreadsheet that you can actually buy. It's a one-time fee from Macro Option. It's really a nice little program. There's all different types of Excel sheets that he sells on there for options. This one allows you to do multiple strategies up to five. So let's take a look at this. I've got all calls right here. I have a 60-day $100 call that is long. I have a 30-day $100 call that is short. So just these first two are a calendar spread or a time spread. I'm going to do exactly the same thing down here, but at the 110 strike. So I've got the long 60 110 call. We can tell it because that's a positive one right there. And I'm going to be short the 30-day 110 call. That's why we get a minus sign there. So I'm long a time spread at 100, and I'm long a time spread at 110. So we could call it a double calendar spread, but we can also pair them up with the different expirations. I could compare the 100, 110 long and short and call it a double diagonal. But take a look at this risk graph, and this is one of the screenshots that he sent. And he said, how come I'm not getting that double peak that I see on all of the websites? Well, now you should know. Because those risk graphs, if we have different expirations, which we do, we've got some 60-day options and some 30-day options. So when do you suppose those risk graphs are taken? They are taken when the shortest dated options are at expiration. So right here, the shortest dated options I have are 30 days, but they're not at expiration. They still have 30 days to go. So watch what happens if we put these at expiration. Let's make this zero, and let's make this zero, and there you go. So again, this is what causes a lot of confusion with traders. And then further, they'll say, oh, this is the way it looks when everything's expired. And again, that is not true. That's a very dangerous interpretation. Anytime you see a risk graph that looks like this, that they're calling an expiration curve, and it doesn't have only straight lines, we've got curved lines in it, you know you've got multiple expirations. And this risk graph will always be shot when the shortest dated options are at expiration. That's what's causing this shape. And so the biggest risk is that if you're not aware of that and the short options expire and they go in the money or out of the money, it's going to greatly alter the resulting risk graph. It's not going to look like this on Monday morning. So be sure that you understand how to interpret a risk graph because there's two ways to learn it. You can either learn it the easy way or you can learn it through the School of Hard Knocks. And for anyone who'd like to learn more about the art and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course, Strategy Lab, and a brand new Greeks class for 2025. You can also find candlesticks and a technical analysis course. It's all at optionsa-z.com. Also, please join us on Options A to Z's Facebook trading group, and you can find a link in the description below.